Day 351. Amos 7 to 9. This is what the Lord God showed me, he was preparing swarms of locusts just after the king's harvest, as the late spring crop was coming up. And when the locusts had eaten every green plant in the land, I said, Lord God, please forgive. How will Jacob survive, since he is so small? So the Lord relented from this plan. It will not happen, he said. This is what the Lord God showed me, the Lord God was calling for judgment by fire. It consumed the great deep and devoured the land. Then I said, Lord God, please stop. How will Jacob survive, since he is so small? So the Lord relented from this plan. It will not happen either, said the Lord God. This is what he showed me, behold, the Lord was standing by a wall true to plumb, with a plumb line in his hand. Amos, what do you see? Asked the Lord. A plumb line, I replied. Behold, said the Lord, I am setting a plumb line among my people Israel, I will no longer spare them, the high places of Isaac will be deserted. And the sanctuaries of Israel will be laid waste, and I will rise up against the house of Jeroboam with my sword. Then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent word to Jeroboam king of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the midst of the house of Israel. The land cannot bear all his words, for this is what Amos has said, Jeroboam will die by the sword, and Israel will surely go into exile, away from their homeland. And Amaziah said to Amos, Go away, you seer. Flee to the land of Judah, earn your bread there and do your prophesying there. But never prophesy at Bethel again, because it is the sanctuary of the king and the temple of the kingdom. I was not a prophet, Amos replied, nor was I the son of a prophet, rather, I was a herdsman and a tender of sycamore fig trees. But the Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore this is what the Lord says, Your wife will become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Your land will be divided by a measuring line, and you yourself will die on pagan soil and Israel will surely go into exile, away from their homeland. This is what the Lord God showed me, I saw a basket of summer fruit. Amos, what do you see? He asked. A basket of summer fruit, I replied. So the Lord said to me, The end has come for my people Israel, I will no longer spare them. In that day, declares the Lord God, the songs of the temple will turn to wailing. Many will be the corpses, strewn in silence everywhere. Hear this, you who trample the needy, who do away with the poor of the land, asking, when will the new moon be over, that we may sell grain? When will the Sabbath end, that we may market wheat? Let us reduce the ephah and increase the shekel, let us cheat with dishonest scales. Let us buy the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even the chaff with the wheat. The Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, I will never forget any of their deeds. Will not the land quake for this? and all its dwellers mourn. All of it will swell like the Nile, it will surge and then subside like the Nile in Egypt. And in that day, declares the Lord God, I will make the sun go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the daytime. I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. I will cause everyone to wear sackcloth and every head to be shaved. I will make it like a time of mourning for an only son, and its outcome like a bitter day. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and roam from north to east, seeking the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. In that day the lovely young women, the young men as well, will faint from thirst. Those who swear by the guilt of Samaria and say, as surely as your God lives, O Dan, or, as surely as the way of Beersheba lives, they will fall never to rise again. I saw the Lord standing beside the altar, and he said, Strike the tops of the pillars so that the thresholds shake. Topple them on the heads of all the people, and I will kill the rest with the sword. None of those who flee will get away, none of the fugitives will escape. Though they dig down to Sheol, from there my hand will take them, and though they climb up to heaven, from there I will pull them down. Though they hide themselves atop Carmel, there I will track them and seize them, and though they hide from me at the bottom of the sea, there I will command the serpent to bite them. Though they are driven by their enemies into captivity, there I will command the sword to slay them. 
I will fix my eyes upon them for harm and not for good. The Lord God of hosts, he who touches the earth and it melts, and all its dwellers mourn, all the land rises like the Nile, then sinks like the river of Egypt, he builds his upper rooms in the heavens and founds his vault upon the earth. He summons the waters of the sea and pours them over the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Are you not like the Cushites to me, O children of Israel? declares the Lord. Did I not bring Israel up from the land of Egypt, the Philistines from Captor, and the Arameans from Kir? Surely the eyes of the Lord God are on the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth. Yet I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, declares the Lord. For surely I will give the command, and I will shake the house of Israel among all the nations as grain is sifted in a sieve, but not a pebble will reach the ground. All the sinners among my people will die by the sword, all those who say, disaster will never draw near or confront us. In that day I will restore the fallen tent of David. I will repair its gaps, restore its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations that bear my name, declares the Lord, who will do this. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when the plowman will overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, the sower of seed. The mountains will drip with sweet wine, with which all the hills will flow. I will restore my people Israel from captivity, they will rebuild and inhabit the ruined cities. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine, they will make gardens and eat their fruit. I will firmly plant them in their own land, never again to be uprooted from the land that I have given them, says the Lord your God. Revelation 8 When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and they were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, who had a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer, along with the prayers of all the saints, on the golden altar before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of the saints, rose up before God from the hand of the angel. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it to the earth, and there were peals of thunder, and rumblings, and flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. And the seven angels with the seven trumpets prepared to sound them. Then the first angel sounded his trumpet, and hail and fire mixed with blood were hurled down upon the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, along with a third of the trees and all the green grass. Then the second angel sounded his trumpet, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea turned to blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. Then the third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star burning like a torch fell from heaven and landed on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter like wormwood oil, and many people died from the bitter waters. Then the fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun and moon and stars were struck. A third of the stars were darkened, a third of the day was without light, and a third of the night as well. And as I observed, I heard an eagle flying overhead, calling in a loud voice, Whoa! Whoa! Woe to those who dwell on the earth, because of the trumpet blasts about to be sounded by the remaining three angels.